Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Our topic for today is all about perform mise en place in dessert. So this will be our topic for TLE Cookery 9. This lesson is for the quarter 4 and week number 1. <music> In this lesson, the most essential learning competencies are The first one is the importance of dessert in a meal. The second one is to classify desserts according to types of ingredients used. And the last one is to identify the characteristics of desserts. Before we proceed to our lesson, let's have our pre-test first. For the direction, you are going to identify the different examples of dessert in different presentation. So you are going to choose your answer from the word pool below. Since we are done on our pre-test, so now let us proceed to our lesson. So what is dessert? Dessert is a course that concludes a meal. The course consists of sweet foods such as confections and possibly a beverage such as dessert, wine, and liquor. The following are the importance of dessert in a meal. Dessert balances out the meal and gives closure to the meal. This means that dessert balances out of meal. Eating dessert is an opportunity to experience different flavors. Dessert can be an opportunity to be creative. The simplest dessert and one of the best because they are nutritious, appetizing, and easy to prepare and serve. Another importance of dessert in a meal is that eating dessert is an opportunity to experience different flavors and textures that you cannot get in other foods like vegetables, meat, and fruits. Another importance of dessert in a meal is that dessert can be an opportunity to be creative. You can make interesting mixtures that you otherwise may not have thought of. <music> Another importance of dessert in a meal is that dessert is not fattening. Remember, there is no such thing as fattening food. A 
Another importance of dessert in a meal is that it will make you feel like a kid again. Forget anti-aging creams or long and sweaty workout session at the gym. The fastest way to recapture your youth or embrace a more youthful spirit is to eat like a kid. Another importance of dessert in a meal is that dessert is a romantic. Dessert are designed for romance. After all, you can't really order a salad with two forks. But when it comes to cake, that is a different matter. So now, let us proceed to the classification of dessert according to the types of ingredients used. The first dessert is the fruit dessert. This is the simplest dessert as they are easy to prepare and serve. These are commonly composed of different variety of fruits. Another classification of dessert is cheese. Cheese is also perfect ingredient for different dessert recipes. Another classification of dessert according to the types of ingredients used is gelatin. Gelatin are easily prepared economically and variety in many ways. Gelatin desserts are desserts made with sweetened and flavored gelatin. Another classification of dessert according to types of ingredients used is custard. Baked and soft custards vary in many ways. Creamy, delicate baked custard may be served in their baking cups or may be unmolded and served with fruits or dessert sauces. <music> Another classification of dessert according to types of ingredients used is puddings. Puddings are relatively simple to prepare and vary with sauces. These are classified as cornstarch pudding, rice pudding, and bread puddings. <music> Another classification of dessert according to types of ingredients used is the frozen desserts. Frozen dessert is a dessert made by freezing liquids, semi-liquids, and sometimes even solids. These are ice cream, sherbet, and ices. <music> Another classification of dessert according to types of ingredients used is milk dessert. In this kind of dessert, the majority ingredient is milk. Another classification of dessert according to types of ingredients used are biscuits and pastries dessert. These desserts are composed of bread accompanied with different deep and cakes with different flavor of icings. The following are the characteristics of desserts. Fruits is the simplest dessert and one of the best are fruits because they are nutritious, appetizing, and easy to prepare and serve. The following are the characteristics of good fruit desserts. First one is appetizing aroma. The second one is simple. The third one is clean to wash appearance. And the last one is slightly chilled. The following are the characteristics of dessert cheese. Cheese is another excellent dessert that is ready to serve. It is made in all parts of the world from a variety of milks from cow, goat, and sheep. <music> Cheese differs depending on the kind of milk used, the kind of cheese making procedures, the seasonings, and the ripening processes also distinguish its variety. Each variety has a definite character, a special appeal, and particular uses. <music> The 
The general types of cheese based on consistency are soft, unripened cheese, ripened with bacteria, semi-hard, ripened by mold, hard, with gas holes, without gas holes. The following are the characteristics of gelatin dessert. These are easily prepared, economical, and vary in many ways. Gelatin is marketed in two forms. First, the unsweetened granular type that must be softened in water before used, and the fruit gelatin to which flavor, color, sugar have already been added. The following are the characteristics of custard. Bake and soft custard vary in so many ways. Creamy, delicate, baked custard may be served in the baking cups or may be unmolded and served with fruit garnishes or with dessert sauces. Characteristics of baked custards are firmness of shape, smooth, tender texture, rich and creamy consistency, and the last one is excellent flavor. Characteristics of soft custard Vivity, smooth texture, rich flavor, has pouring consistency of heavy cream. The following are the characteristics of pudding. Puddings are relatively simple to prepare and vary with sauces. These are classified as cornstarch pudding, rice pudding, and bread pudding. The characteristics of pudding are attractive appearance, excellent consistency, well-blended flavor, firmness of shape, and an accompanying sauce to add enterprise. The following are the characteristics of fruit dessert. Ice cream, smooth frozen mixtures of milk, cream, sugar, flavorings, and sometimes eggs. Those are the characteristics of the different desserts. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.